Bennett, and the Kessler Show starts right now. We're making the kids help me pull all the weeds out so we can plant our little plants. Hi, I'm Peyton, and I'm nine years old, and I'm Riley and Cameron's friends. Hi, I'm Ryder. I'm Ronnie. I'm seven years old, and I'm Ronnie and Cameron's friends too. They did pretty good for little kids. They got most of them out of there. And once our little plants grow up, get ahead of the weeds, I won't worry about the weeds anymore. But we don't throw them away. We just put them right here in the chicken coop and the chickens will eat those. And if we weren't going to put them in there, we'd probably compost them or something, but they love to eat those. See, a bunch right there, a bunch right there, a bunch right there. Today we're gonna replant the plants that we planted the other day. And right now the girls are poking holes in the cups. Why are we poking holes in the cups? So where the water can drain around whenever we water them. Okay. And we have another cousin over here today. Her name is Veda. Veda, can you say hi? I keep doing it. So Just poke one hole, we don't have to destroy the cup. There you go. I want the water to come out. These are the plants that grew from the seeds that everybody planted the other day. We're going to separate them out and put them into the cups so that they can grow some more. Okay, we're going to start off just filling the cups about halfway full, like this. That's about like that. That may even be a little bit full. Oh, can you hear me? The kids put all these seeds in here. I think this is like a mixture of broccoli and cauliflower. So they're obviously not going to grow like that. Usually we just thin to like one or two. But we're going to try to thin them out and put them in separate pots because there's probably like 50 little plants in this one. So if half of them die, we don't care. It's still have like 25 plants on this one little pot. Sometimes a lot of them die when we do this, and sometimes they don't, so we got plenty. Tease with the roots. This time we're not going to tease the roots. We're just going to separate them however we can, just a little bit like that, knowing that they're not all going to make it, but we have a bajillion. I don't have to be super duper careful with it. I'm to show that. Nobody knows what's in it, but it uh, seems to work pretty good for any plants and stress, and we add it to most fertilizers. It's natural kind of thing. So it don't take too much. Here's why we keep covering the soil with all this mulch and compost. So it looks kind of messy, but look, this was just really hard dirt. So when you move, 
They're mulching stuff away. Look how nice that soil is underneath. Yeah. We haven't watered it or anything, so it's gonna get even better. See? Stuff that grows in here. <laughs> so, what we heard, have you seen any worms? No, but normally, like in the spring when it's wetter, we get like. Here, lots, I'll go get some. Lots more. of worms. I'll go get some fresh dirt. No, this is fine for now. I don't no. need fresh dirt. No, bye. So I went in with the chickens There's and got nine. some eggs. Let me see. Nine. Nine eggs. I can tell I think these are duck eggs. Yeah, the duck eggs are a little bit bigger. Okay, we made this area ready for the kids. And I'm gonna dig the little holes so they can put them in there. These are the plants that we separated out. Somebody's gonna probably tear up most of these plants. But that's the way it goes. When they get bigger, uh, they'll be fine. We're gonna fertilize them and we'll put the mulch back. We'll probably let them get a little bit bigger and then we'll pull the mulch back. Okay, we're gonna use some of Medina Grown Green. You're welcome, Medina, from Medina County. <laughs> it stinks, but it works really good. We use it on the lawns, at work, and uh, all the vegetables and stuff. Hey mom, can you show them over here so they can see? If you're not too heavy and you have a tennis ball, stay on the tennis ball. Hey, woo! Ah, I think I get it dizzy now. Whoa, whoa, I fell off last time. I fell off last time. So we'll probably just put in some more seeds later because the dogs and the kids and stuff will run through here and get some of these. But that's okay because we'll have some really mature ones. And then we'll have some younger ones that way we get a steady. Yeah, can we get a chicken wire crop. fence around the garden? No, because it'd be too hard to get in and out. No, we, we could just plant more seeds if they trample on them. It's no big deal. Planting seeds is fine. 